What's up peeps? So in this video we're going to be talking about how to do the palming technique when using your needle holder or needle driver. Ain't nobody got time to waste, so let's go. Okay, so the first thing we should go over is the anatomy of the actual needle holder, also called the needle driver. So this is your needle holder. And this is your smaller, cuter needle holder. Here at the top that we have two rings in which you can place uh, your thumb and your ring finger in it. So if those two are the rings, we can see the actual locking mechanism, which is the ratchet. In between the two rings, you can see that there are these three sawtooth shaped edges and they're on both sides. And these actually hook together to make that satisfying click. And just listen to this. So you've got the rings, you've got the ratchet, and then you've got the shaft, which is actually the length of the body itself. The end of the needle holder has jaws, and we can see here that inside the jaws, there are these cross-hatched serrations. And that's what's used to actually make sure it has a grip on the needle itself. Okay, so now that we've got the anatomy out of the way, palming is when you don't necessarily put your fingers through the rings, but you use the thinner eminence of your hand, which is this little fatty bit right here, using the thinner eminence of your hand to act as a stabilizer for the top ring, while your bottom three fingers, or any of those fingers, push the bottom part of the ratchet, and that will just click open. And what's the advantage of this? The advantage is that you gain a lot more stability and a lot more pronation. So if you're taught to try and put the needle through directly at a 90 degree angle to the tissue, you have a lot more pronation than you do if you had the finger and the thumb through this way. And this gives you a lot more dexterity with the end of the needle, but you sacrifice stability. With the palming technique, you gain a lot of stability, but you lose a lot of dexterity and maneuverability with the end of the needle. So let's see that up close. So now a lot of general surgeons actually use this technique uh, to close layers of the abdomen. It's useful in ED as well for suturing thick skin, like lacerations to the scalp. So now what if you want to do it left-handed? So when you push it into your left hand, instead what you want to do is you want to push the top part of the actual ratchet, whereas the bottom part is going to be pushed back against this base. And you don't really have to think about this, if you just focus on pushing the top part, the base ring will actually push back up against your hypothena eminence, which is this bit here. So when you notice as you push there, and it should just come undone. And you can press back down with the base of your thumb, that clicks, push the top bit again, it should just flick open. And different surgeons will have different preferences on what they use, which technique for. Most of the time you'll see general surgeons using this to close up the thicker layers of the actual abdominal wall. Sometimes you'll see some surgeons using it on the scalp of the actual um, head of a person. If they're putting in an extra ventricular drain or um, if they're just suturing up uh, scalp lacerations because you just have that greater stability and that pronation that you need to push through thicker skin. Now, a lot of people think that when you're opening the suture holder that you need to open it up this wide to try and grab a needle. But oftentimes what you'll notice is when you're using the palming technique, it doesn't take much movement at the base of your thumb to open up the jaws of the needle holder. And oftentimes the advantage of doing this palming technique is you'll open it up, you'll grab the needle, sometimes you'll move it through the tissue, open it up again, grab it a bit more, push it through a bit more, and then you grab it, position it, lock it, and then draw it through. Time for the pig's foot. Okay, so we've got our pig's foot here, and we've already made an incision that we can use to just practice our palming technique on. I'm sorry if this offends anyone. And we're not gonna go over tying anything just at this stage, it's just practicing the actual palming technique while driving it through the tissue itself. And we can grab the tissue, can invert it, and we can see how we're holding our needle holder. It's resting with our index finger down along the shaft, 
Our thumb is just stabilizing the end of the shaft just behind the ring and our other three fingers are going to be around here stabilizing the bottom shaft uh, just below that bottom ratchet. So when we go in, the needle's pointing in, 90 degree angle and it should just slice straight, straight through and back out the other end. Here you can grab the needle perpendicular to its exit just to stabilize it, palm the needle. You can only have to, you only have to use a little bit of force to open the end of the jaws. Grab that, pull it a little bit through, reposition, look for that click. And then you can draw it straight back out. And there it is. All right, thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed that, let me know, hit the like button. Um, hit subscribe if you want to see some more videos and hit me up in the comments if there's any video ideas that you think you'd like me to do. In the meantime, Peace.